Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Paul, and we're aboard Sea Oasis. We always enjoyed outdoor activities and exploring, so now we're spending time exploring in the San Juan Islands, as well as Canada, and eventually Alaska. So welcome aboard. Roche Harbor is located on the northwest tip of San Juan Island. You can drive there from Friday Harbor or cruise there on the water. Roche Harbor is a very popular seaside resort and hosts visitors from all over the world. Roche Harbor is steeped in history due to the discovery of the mineral lime along the ridge above the harbor in the late 1800s. After that discovery, Roche Harbor became a thriving community with its own lime factory. In 1886, John McMillan bought the Roche Harbor property and initiated improvements, not only to the production, but the plant itself. Remnants of this factory can still be seen today. The name John McMillan and the McMillan family soon become familiar to tourists as they visit this area. We usually anchor Sea Oasis in a quiet area near the harbor and use our dinghy to approach the docks. One of the first icons on the shore is the old white church. The Chapel of Our Lady of Good Voyage is a Catholic church with a backdrop of evergreens overlooking the harbor and is quite charming. The melody heard periodically across the water from the church tower is so enchanting. Built in 1892 by John McMillan, the church began as a Methodist church and during that time was also used as a schoolhouse for the children of his employees. Of course, the harbor itself is a beautiful sight as well, filled with large yachts up and down the fingers of the docks. In my research, I found the famous actor John Wayne used to have a 36-foot yacht docked in this harbor. As you walk up the ramp to the town square, you first see the company store, which is a reminder that Mr. McMillan had a company store for his employees to purchase what they needed to live here years ago. Now it's the grocery store, and from experience of many years in business, they've learned to offer a wide assortment of all types of food and wares. They even have things for kids and replicas of old posters made out of wood to decorate your walls. Across the way are wooden booths that on weekends are stocked with pottery and jewelry and hand-painted pictures and more by artisans in the area, including ice cream. To our left, you can see the Hotel de Haro. It was built in 1887 and had 22 guest rooms for use for the comfort of Mr. McMillan's customers while they negotiated their purchases of lime. Now the beautiful grounds are used for weddings. They have a little bit of everything, roses and dahlias, drumsticks and lavender. It's really pretty. And right next door is our favorite restaurant, the Madrona Bar and Grill. I recommend the Chop Chop Salad. I have two favorite salads, and that is one of the top two. It's good, like it always does. <laughs> After a good meal, you have to take a walk, right? And so we did, right up to that mansion in the background. This is a relatively new addition on the horizon of the harbor over the past couple of years. 
What is referred to in town as the mansion is a beautifully built home complete with Victorian-styled turrets and towers with a coveted view of the harbor is absolutely stunning. And you see, if you look carefully in the trees, we've got some friends and they're following along. Or maybe we're following them. But they're hiding right now, being very still, thinking we can't see them. <laughs> Here's the back of the area mansion. You can see they're still doing construction on it. Last year they were doing some things inside. This year it looks like they're doing things outside. They have a great view of the harbor and the mountains. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods. Just below the hill that the mansion sits upon is also a Victorian-styled master-planned community. I had the pleasure of speaking to one of the homeowners there as I was walking my dog. She informed me that they were privately owned homes, but it's an option to offer them on a rental program if you're away. I thought that was a perfect plan. And not far from this neighborhood is the Sculpture Park, where all the sculptures are made out of driftwood. There is something unusual in the woods at Roche Harbor Resort, and two different stories are told. Is it a mystery? Not far from the church is a trail that leads approximately a 15-minute walk further into the woods. There, in a quiet spot nestled under the trees, is a family mausoleum built by Mr. McMillan as a memorial to his family. The design is very symbolic of Mr. McMillan's beliefs. One of my favorite aspects is the columns are built the same sizes as the columns in King Solomon's temple. One broken column was added to represent that man dies before his work is finished. As you get closer, you'll find a tile-covered lime and cement table surrounded by concrete and stone chairs, the bases of which are a crypt for each family member. The table and chairs together represent that they are together again after death. That's the first story. The second story is different. It's that John McMillan had a son that married outside of the Methodist Church. And it made him very angry, and he disowned him. And the broken column represented the son who betrayed him, and a forever reminder from John that he would never again be part of the family. So I guess it is a mystery, and will remain one, because only John McMillan himself knows the answer. The construction of this memorial began in 1930 and ended in 1936. And our last activity is every day just before sunset, Roche Harbor does the flag ceremony. So my friends, 
the end of the day has come. And just like John Wayne, we're going to ride off into the sunset. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting the subscribe button and leaving a comment. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching and please check out the videos on the screen now.